Hello everyone. I hope you all are doing very well. In this session, I am going to discuss our CO, PO, PEO and PSO with very real life examples. And I'm also going to deliver it with the detailed explanation as well. So you can understand it like that. Let's say Guddu Bhaiya want to pursue a program name is BTEC. Guddu Bhaiya wants to pursue engineering in computer science. So BTEC is nothing but a program. So Guddu Bhaiya is going to pursue which program? BTEC in computer science. It is a program name. For pursuing that program, Guddu Bhaiya need to learn some courses like data structures, like database management systems, like operating systems and many more. So these all are courses which is required to attain program means if you want to complete the program, you need to complete the courses which is mentioned in that programs. Right. Now, why Guddu Bhaiya is pursuing BTEC in computer science? Because Guddu Bhaiya have seen that his cousin uncle is earning very, very large amount of money in Infosys. And uh, many times he also go out shores and uh, do foreign trips and live a luxury life. Right. So Guddu Bhaiya also wants to pursue career in software industry just after his graduation. So PEO that is Program Educational Objectives. What it is? After attaining the program within certain amount of time, it might be one year or two year that particular program's objective is with the help of all the set of acquired skills, with the help of all the sets of acquired abilities during that program, Guddu Bhaiya must get a good job in software industry. That is program educational objective. And what is PSO then? Program specific outcome. In that software industry, Guddu Bhaiya is doing hardcore coding. Guddu Bhaiya is writing a quality queries for solving some kind of problems. That is a specific outcome of that program, which is only taught in the computer science field, not in any other field. Getting it? I hope on an edge you get an idea, but still I am not going to stop here. This is just a simple example. Let's begin. So, the best way is to learn about CO, PO, PO and PSO. You need to know about what are programs. So, let me take you to the IIT Bombay website. Here are some programs like PhD is a program. MS, Master of Science is a program. Master of Technology, Master of Technology plus PhD. It is also one of the program provided by Computer Science and Engineering IIT Bombay. And BTEC, it is also one of the program, right? So these are the programs. And what are courses? So if we talk about, let's say, BTEC in computer science. So in BTEC in computer science, which is one of the program and the courses are mentioned like computer programming and utilization, computing and science, software systems, labs, programming paradigm, laboratory, discrete structures, and many more design and analysis of algorithms, da, data structures and algorithms, DSA. So all these are list of courses. These are courses which you are going to complete one by one under that program. Right? Okay. So let's come again to the PPT and let's begin again with the CO that is course outcome. So course outcome refers to the specific knowledge or specific skills or the ability that students are expected to acquire during the end of that particular course. Let's say if you are learning 
data structures and algorithms so there might be some of the course outcomes that that particular course might give you that skill after completion of it you can see it here again we are at the triple it trichy website you can see here if your subject code that is if your course is data structures then what are the course outcomes means after completion of data structures you will get to know about explaining the time and space complexity for any algorithm means if you have learned data structures completely means everybody who have completed data structures completely must able to solve time and space complexity of any algorithm if you have completed the course data structure then you all can describe divide and conquer technique for solving problems if you have completed data structures then you can analyze the graphical problem related to greedy paradigms if you have completed data structures then you can apply dynamic programming backtracking and branch and brown design technique for solving real world programs if you have completed data structures then you can also evaluate np class of problems and propose the approximation algorithms for the same these are course outcomes means after completion of this course these outcomes should be attainable by all the students if you have learned the subjects and you don't know what is time complexity and what is space complexity means you have not attained that course outcome means whatever curriculum was designed you have not attained that right so at the end of the course a student should be able to know all these five outcomes then we can say that this course is completed and course is attended by all the students right okay let's again come to the ppt now the second point here is these outcomes are usually outlined in the course syllabus and serve as a guide for both instructors and students throughout the duration of the course obviously outlined in the course syllabus it is already mentioned if you are going to check your syllabus of uh, any let's say if, I, if we specifically talk about btech in computer science then if you are going to open the course of data structures there would be some course outcomes the proper objective is that after learning that course you must have able to get that outcome for example if you are learning database management system means at the end of a uh, completion of that dbms you must be able to solve some kind of query you can solve the problems you can able to write the queries right likewise that okay now basically course outcomes help in aligning the curriculum with educational objectives right so whatever syllabus is there and whatever educational objective of that syllabus is there course outcome will align with that and it is going to provide framework for assessment and evaluation we can talk it about right okay po program outcomes so obviously program means be take in computer science so after completion of the complete program after completion of complete program what you have acquired and whatever skill whatever knowledge you have acquired that knowledge should be usable that knowledge should be usable and you can use that knowledge to meet the educational need and expectation of the employer let's say if you have learned b tech in computer science so program is b tech in computer science so what is the outcome that after learning b tech in computer science you must be employable in any it company this is outcome you must know basics of softwares basics of hardwares basics of computer theory basics of computation basics of operating systems basics of computer hardware you must be able of it because in the four four let's say if the course is of four year you have acquired by that time all this set of skills 
राइट एंड दिस पर्टिकुलर स्किल शुड ऑल्सो बी यूजेबल फॉर हायर स्टडीज और फॉर एनी पर्टिक्युलर जॉब अपॉर्चुनिटी सो वॉट एवर स्किल्स यू हैव एक्वायर ड्यूरिंग बी टेक कंप्यूटर साइंस इट इज गोइंग टू बी यूजेबल फॉर लेट से मास्टर इन कंप्यूटर साइंस सो वॉट एवर आउटकम यू आर गेटिंग फ्रॉम द प्रोग्राम वॉट एवर आउटकम यू आर गेटिंग फ्रॉम दिट प्रोग्राम इट शुड बी यूजेबल फॉर द हायर स्टडी गेटिंग इट then if we talk about peo that is program educational objectives program educational objective means whatever program you have learned that should meet the educational objectives it means that whatever program you have learned let's say if you have done mbbs it is a program right yes and within mbbs it is a course of 5 and 1/2 year so some courses are there it can be surgery and many more i don't know right so if you are doing let's say btech in computer science many courses are there after learning all the courses means program educational objective means after completion of that program within certain period of time within one or two year you must be able to use that skill so that you can be employable so that uh, all the employer whatever they are expecting that we if they are hiring vacancy for computer science students then the computer science students who have graduated they must have that particular skills that they have acquired in that particular four year of times so after completion of that program within certain year certain amount of time within certain amount of months within certain amounts of years one or two let's say you must be use that abilities that is skills that exposure and you must have acquire some job or you can pursue higher study on the basis of that that is program educational objective right program specific outcomes now so program specific outcome means what whatever specific skills or what is specialized knowledge that you are getting in that program you have to choose that field of study let's say if you are pursuing btech in computer science so btech in computer science means you should use after after program specific outcome means what you must have knowledge of hard core coding you must have knowledge of solving problems using queries in database management systems maybe so you should have to choose that particular field after completion of that program so program specific outcomes means you will get to know about hard core coding only in btech computer science you are not going to get this specific set of skills in any other program let's say if your program is btech in artificial intelligence then you are going to get that particular knowledge in only in that field you are not going to get that particular knowledge in some other field in some other branch in some other program whatever skills you are getting in mbbs which is a program you are not going to get the same set of skills in btech so that is specific to the program that is specific to the program so such kind of uh, particular you can say that outline basically pso outlines specialized knowledge skills and competencies that students are expected to acquire in their chosen field of study right <laughs> if any particular student is choosing csbs branch let's say computer science and business systems i think like that right so at the end they must be relate themselves with business studies business systems they must explore themselves in some kind of entrepreneurship in some kind of business field if they are preparing for some kind of things which is not related to csbs then we cannot say that it is a specific outcome of that program right so program specific outcome means what program specific outcome means if you are learning any particular program then you need to choose that particular specific set of skills and pursue career in that which is a unique requirement of that program 
basically that programs are designed with that unique requirement. Let's say if you are pursuing a program of B.Tech in data science or M.Tech in data science, then after completion of M.Tech in data science, definitely you are going to go into the industry who is utilizing all the set of skills which is provided in M.Tech in data science, isn't it? So that is a specific outcome of that program. Okay. Now we can just go with some of the examples as well. CO. So in CO, a student will be able to design and implement algorithms for solving computational problems. So if we talk about, let's say, um, B.Tech in computer science, if our, if our program is B.Tech in computer science, then what can be the course outcomes? Course outcomes can be like students will be able to design and implement algorithms for solving computational problems or students will demonstrate proficiency in programming languages such as Java, C++ and Python or students will understand fundamentals, concepts and data structures and algorithms. These are course outcomes of B.Tech in computer science program. What can be the programming outcomes? So if let's say if you are B.Tech computer science, then program outcome should be graduate will possess a strong foundation in computer science principle and theory, right? Graduates will demonstrate that ability to analyze complex problems and develop effective computing solutions. Graduates will exhibit proficiency in software development practices and methodologies. What can be PEO, program educational objectives of uh, B.Tech in computer science? Graduates will pursue successful career in software engineering system analysis or related field within three years of graduation. Or graduates will engage in lifelong learning and professional development to adapt to evolving technologies and challenges in the field of computer science. What can be PSOs? Graduates will be able to develop and deploy web-based applications using modern frameworks and technologies, a specific outcome of B.Tech in computer science. Graduates will possess expertise in database design, implementation and management, a specific outcome of B.Tech in computer science program. Graduate will demonstrate proficiency in software training and quality assurance technique, a specific outcome of program which B.Tech in computer science, specific, getting it. So let me, it, it was like a discussion, right? So we can conclude like COs, POs, POs and PSOs are all important component of education planning, curriculum development and quality assurance processes. Basically, this term you are going to heard when you are going to be in the process of NAC accreditation or NBA. Basically, this uh, COPO, PEO and PSO help in defining learning objectives, accessing students' progress for evaluation purpose and ensuring that academic programs are designed to meet the need of students and stakeholders effectively. It should not like that whatever you are teaching in the uh, universities or colleges or schools and that is uh, relevant, uh, un unrelevant, irrelevant to the exact need of the industry. So uh, each it, these all things are interlinked with each other, right? So important terminology, I hope the lecture is going to be useful for you. Further, if you found some of the confusions, queries, doubts, any kind of a question, query, please feel free to ask in the comment section. You can also provide your feedback. Thank you so much. Have a very nice day, guys. Jai Hind. Jai Bharat.